Hello there, it's Zach from artistdeartutorial.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to have a different title for a specific page on your site than the other pages on your site. So, for example, if we want the home page of our site to have a title that is just special for the home page, whereas all the other pages on the site follow a standard model like page name and then site name, something like that, this tutorial will show you how to do it. So here I am on my little testing site. We see that the page title for my home page is testingsite.us, which, if I go to my general WordPress settings, is just my site title, because it's my testing site. Whereas if I go to the blog page, for example, or the long name for a page page, or the new page, or any of these like just generic pages, we have page name, and then a vertical line, and then the site title. So obviously it's being set somewhere, and in the default artist year implementation, it's just showing that. So what I'll show you how to do is have a custom typed, uh, I guess, title for the home page, but then to maintain the same functionality for your other ones. So let's say that instead of calling it testingsite.us, we say Zach's sample site. And I save it. Now what we should see is it updating here and the home page. So we see that this is new page on Zach's sample site and the home page is probably Zach's sample site. Cool. So we see that that's how it works. Now I'm going to show you how to get it working like we want it to. If you go into your WordPress dashboard and hover over appearance and then go to editor, you'll be here in the style sheet by default. On the right side you want to choose your header file. From within here, and I separated it to make it easier to see, but uh, somewhere near the top you should see a title tag with some PHP code inside of it. What you're going to do, I'm going to paste it in here because I have it cut out, is we're basically going to create uh, an if statement, an if PHP statement. So I'll give you a little overview of it and then I'll go more in depth. So this says, if it's this page ID, which I'll show you how to find, then do this, and that's what the echo tag means. It means just say this HTML. So it's doing the title, and then this special title. Uh, and then else, which is, in other words, if it doesn't meet that criteria, do this. So it's printing out the title tag, and then it's maintaining this exact same functionality as the default artistier functionality. So let me cut this out real quick and save it just to show you the result. So now if I refresh the home page, I see my special home page title. But if I go to the blog page, I see that it's got that exact same format as before. So that's great. That's what we want. So if I go back into my theme editor, I'm going to just paste this to keep it here. I'll show you how I did this. Uh, so step one, you're going to type the opening PHP tag, which is um, left opening caret thingy. I wish I had the name for it off the top of my head, but the left caret thingy, question mark, PHP. So that's how you open a PHP statement. And then you're going to use this. I'm not going to say it because you can see my screen. If is page, and then you can just do the parentheses with a blank area, and then type the uh, bracket. And now I'm going to show you how to find that page ID. So hover over pages and then right click all pages and choose open in new tab because we want to keep this theme editor open. We see our page list. So our home page is the one we want the special title for. So if I hover over this uh, page name, we see down at the bottom, it says the URL. So it says like testing site.us, artist year, WP admin, post.php, question mark, post equals 194. That's the page ID. Alternately, I can click into it and I believe I can get like the friendly URL of it. Maybe not though. Um, but either way, if you click into the post, it'll say that post's ID up here in the address bar. So you want to grab that, and then if we go back into our editor, we paste that into these parentheses. So you're saying, if it's the home page, then do this. From here, you can really just copy my exact code. Uh, the only time you wouldn't copy my exact code is if you laid out your title different than the default artist you're exporting of it. Um, but the way that it is here, if you were to copy it, 
is it's just saying the, uh, I'll show you it on the site too, it's just saying the page title and then the site title. So that site title is edited within your general settings. So I'm going to keep this up here without moving around for a second so you can look at it, pause it, and copy the code. But once you've done this, you should be able to click update file and refresh your site and see that it worked. My recommendation though, because it's always easy to screw this stuff up, is before you make any changes, you can select the default artist ear one and just copy it or cut it and paste it into like Microsoft Word or just Notepad. Just have it backed up somewhere so that if you break it, you can go back here and paste in the original one to get it working again. So I hope this helped. Be sure to check out artistiertutorial.com where I give a full step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to design kick-ass sites in Artistier. Thanks, and let me know if you have any questions.